This holiday season, let your creativity shine with Stable Diffusion. Join me to discover how to craft stunning Christmas cards and wallpapers. Are you ready to create your own festive masterpieces? Let's embark on this artistic adventure. I am using the Juggernaut version 7 checkpoint on Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you will need two extensions, SDXL Styles and Control Net. In the extension tab, you can see that I have them installed. You can find tutorials on my YouTube channel on how to install them if you don't have them already. In short, you just go to the Available tab, click on Load From, and search for Control Net. You can order by star since it's a popular extension, and then click Install. It says Installed on mine since it's already installed. And for the second extension, you just search for Style Selector. After it's installed, you need to restart Stable Diffusion. Let me show you the image I use on Control Net. Uh, in Photoshop, I created a new document in the ratio I plan to use for the generation. In the center, I added black text saying Merry Christmas uh, using the Arial rounded bold font. Then I saved it as a JPG on Control Net. You just upload that image and I will use that for all my generation. So make sure you check Enable and Pixel Perfect. For control type, use Canny. The preprocessor is Canny. And the model you need to download is called Koya Control Lite XL Canny. I will add my first prompt for text made from Gingerbread um, using the settings you see on screen. For the size, I am using a 16.9 aspect ratio with 1200 pixels width and 672 pixels height. I add a fixed seed so I can experiment with the prompt. The CFG scale is four or five. Now we choose the art style we want from here. For the first one, I will go with photographic. Check to see you have everything you need, the prompt style control net. I will hit generate to get the first image. And the first generation is not bad, but I got better results with another seed. If I change the CFG scale to four instead of five, I get this image. Now, when I like something, I will enable Hire's Fix with a denoise strength of 0.45. The upscale is set to two, but you can lower the value if your video card cannot handle it. For the upscaler, I use 4X Ultra Sharp. I will hit Generate to get a high quality image. Now, let's try a different style of generation. I want to create a watercolor Christmas card. So with a new prompt, I will enable watercolor in the SDXL styles. And I got this cool watercolor painting. It took about 33 seconds to get a high quality image. So yes, it's slower with Hire's Fix, but you get a double sized image. With a new prompt, I will use the 3D model art style. It took some prompt engineering. I started with the text, tried different wood backgrounds, then added pine twigs to make it more interesting. For the next generation, I will use a fantasy art style with a cute cartoon cottage prompt. Now, let's do some gold text on a green background using a cinematic art style. The result looks festive. I want now to create one like neon on a wall, so for the art style I will use Neon Noir. Setting the CFG scale to 4 instead of 5 looks a little better. And for the last one, let's do a delicious chocolate. I am using the food photography art style for this one.
Look how cool it looks. Now you can add all kinds of effects in CapCut, like snowflakes, to make it more interactive. I will add the prompts somewhere in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to the Pixaroma channel for more stable diffusion tutorials. Have a great day.